Hi there everybody, this is Debbie from Deb's Thing. Um, I should have uploaded this by now, because um, I'm hopefully doing this one before what I'm going to present you, but this is my stitches design, and it is five bars across, and I know there's um, several of you who, you know, ask for three bar designs, so I really like this. I think it's really fun, especially if you use like the opaque for the vertical and some kind of jelly or thicker bands for um, going it across it. It gives it a really interesting dimension. And then even on this side, it reminds you kind of a cable knit sweater. Um, this one I did the opposite. I used the jellies for the vertical and the opaque. So as you can see, there's not quite quite as much of a variance. So it's a little less interesting as um, far as its architecture goes, but it's still pretty. So this one I just randomly used, um, what do you call those, a tie-dye. This one I kind of alternated. This one I did alternating rows. Those are the luminescent um, special specialty bands and they glow in the dark really nicely but they do not have very good stretch so they were perfect for this design so I've only made a little piece of a sample to show you what it looks like on a three bar design it's pretty much taking this out and this out and you're kind of taking this and connecting it to that so that's what it looks like here's the other side so this is your loom set up, just three bars across parallel, and um, on this one I use, the design has two rows of parallel, of, are the going up verticals, uh, there's two rows of each color, these I alternated, I did, you know, green, yellow, or yellow, green, green, yellow, and this one I just used all white. This one I alternated black and white. So this design, I'm going to use the navy blue and the deep purple. And then for the bands across, I'm just going to use all of the, um, the thicker sweets pink. Okay, so I'll start out. And I'm going to put two... bands there to retrieve later. And how do I want to do this? Let me think. Do I want the purple? I think I I changed that. So I want the purple to be the dominant color. So then we're going to go one on each side. And then you are going to do the purples all the way up each side. I'm sorry I'm speaking quietly, but my husband's resting in the room next to me, so you'll have to max your volume up. <laughs> so I don't want to speak too loudly. So anyhow, there's not much to this. So what you're going to do is go up both sides all the way. Now, if you want to keep it like all the same colors, then do, you know, the center, the same color, but I'm going to be alternating. So if you want to use a second color, you can also do that. I'm going to go off camera and do all three of these. That one feels too skinny. Not enough stretch. Reject. Okay. So that's very... I, don't think I gave you too much. Um, you're just doing three single chains and I'm alternating the colors. The same two here and then a different color up the center. There's not too much to look at at this point. You just have three rows of single bands. Now you can either as I did on these two, alternate, so putting the blue, the second row blue here, and then on top of this one I'll be putting purple. You can also keep it the same, 
on each one. That would be interesting, like if I did both purple, my next layer is purple here and then blue here. But since I'm only using one color band, one type of band, for um, the little slip knots, I think it won't be too distracting. So, very simple. I'll just show you real quickly, then let you go on your own. You're just going to go, these blue, this one is like really, oh, look how skinny that is. Blues aren't as, package of blue have been kind of fickle. So, you may wonder why I just don't do two each. It does make a difference, like, you know, put a purple and a blue, and then put a purple and a blue, you know, loading them two at a time. It does make a difference in the design, and again, pl play around you know, with like a few, no more than half your loom, and then you can get a little piece. And you know, you haven't spent too much time or too many bands, and then you can see what it's going to look like before you commit to a full or double length, extended length. Okay, so this is what it looks like. And again, I'm going to go off camera and finish putting these on. Now that we have uh, double bands up all the rows, we can start, actually, why don't we just finish using these bands, finish up with these colors. Because putting the cap on right now will not affect band placement of the others and I'm going to use two I've decided I like a thicker um, connection uh, connecting uh, bands okay so very simply it's back and forth you can go up one side which to me is better use of time I want to put these down so it doesn't really matter. Just keep it all in the same order. That way it'll be easier to, to loop back. Okay. Sorry if I was off screen there, but um, we're doing the same thing on all these pins. So you can do like that. And then come back here. I did not do a test run on this color scheme. So we will see. Alrighty. I guess I'll just stay on camera because this isn't going to take very long. I think this will be a cute little bracelet, uh, hopefully. <laughs> I really haven't seen it in full yet, but um, I'd like to give options for those who do not have um, extra looms, especially the younger ones who to either depend on their allowance or their parents and you know what we parents sometimes we have to we have to keep a budget and one loom per child but some of you have more than one loom so you can do this but maybe you kids who only have one loom can either save your allowance or ask your parents if you can do a special job, special chore, and earn extra money. That's what I used to do. I used to always find ways to make money. Fortunately, my parents owned a campground, so there were plenty of things I could do for money. I used to stain um, picnic tables, you know, the kind with, that have the benches attached, you know, on top, underneath, the whole thing for two dollars. <laughs> it was back in the mid 70s. Do you know how much work that is to earn two dollars? But hey, you know, you do 10 tables, you got 20 bucks, and 20 bucks was more money back then. You could play pinball for a long, long time. <laughs> 20 bucks. It was a quarter for two games, I think, back then. 
or air hockey. I was good at both. Bowling, not so much. My ambidextrousness came in to play and cause trouble. According to uh, somebody who saw me trying to bowl, I held the ball with my right hand, but I guess I was starting off as if I were left-handed. So they told me to step back, take one extra step, and I'll be balanced when I got to the delivery line. And sure enough, I made a strike. But that was years ago. Anyway, okay. So now we're ready to loom. So we are going to simply bring these two out. And on this one, I have the left one on top, and then you do the right, and if, you're, if you've are done the regular stitches, um, it's pretty much the same thing. You're only going to take the first the top level of bands and bring one section up. And this side is the one on top, so this is the one we're going to do first. Bring this over and this back. And then release this one. Now we can bring this one over, reach in and grab the other half, bring it out, and then release this one. Bring up your next row of bands, the top one only. And do the same thing. Bring it from the out side to the center, reach underneath, grab its other half. Bring it over and then release it. And then do the same. I'll show you a couple more times. As I said, oh, oh, you know what? I did. I think I did this on the stitches bracelet. I, you know, I told you all about, it and I forgot to tell you the name. I decided to call this Lil Stitches, like L I L apostrophe Lil Stitches. I thought that was cute because it's a smaller version of the big stitches. Where are you? Grab the right band there. And release. Okay, one more time. Reach in there and grab the top band only. And I've noticed on this design, or this technique, these get all like, you know, they're all spiraled. They, you know, they seem to pull, pull out pretty good. I mean, the jellies I had a little bit of trouble, but if you just pull at them like that, it, like this one's a little bit twisted, if you just go like that, give it a little flick, it straightens out, so. I haven't had any issue. Okay, so where am I? Got the three up there. Bring this in. Bring this out and release. Bring this in. Bring this out. And it's okay that one slipped off. In fact, that's how I came up with deciding to do the stitch is when I was which bracelet is it? Oh yeah, my Mei Ling. The one that's online right now, or that's up right now that everyone's doing. Um, doing that back and forth. Um, I said, that, that'll, that'll look cool. The slip stitch. So anyhow, you're going to continue to do that all the way to the end. And I will show you how to, you know, well, after you, like, 
bring these two over, you got to bring these three, this three top bands up, and then I'll show you the next step, which most of you will probably have figured out on your own. Alrighty, um, I just want to make sure before we go to the next step that after you've done these, to take the first, the top band up to each of its home pins before we go on. And I think most of you know. Now, my bands are looking pretty messy and twisted, but I'm having faith <laughs> that they all straighten out when I take it off the, um, the loom. So pretty much you're just going to single chain, reach inside, Grab that one band. You just do one row all the way. And back to another one. Very simple. Just holds the design all together. So you do those two, then you come back and probably do the center one. And of course, if this design looks horrible and all the bands are twisted, you won't see this tutorial. <laughs> all right, uh, back to take it off and see if we have a winner or not. I am thinking I'm going to really like this color combination. Let's hope it looks as good in person as it does in my head right now. All right. I want to take each end band and bring it to the center. Oops. Oh, I forgot to grab it. Hold on a sec. I need to grab me a large clip. They come, come in handy when we use double bands. As I take this off, as I've said in other tutorials, and I watch yours, I fast forward through this part. <laughs> I sure hope it all un unravels. Doesn't look too promising, but maybe with a little coaxing. will come into place. I think it had to do with um, using these thin bands with these very thick bands. I, I think the tension of the thick bands really um, caused those to twist. So here's the back side. And I think you can see here some of these thinner blues. I just, you know, I kept, I have a whole pile of thin ones I tossed out, but um, you know, of course, the thinner they are, the less they'll stretch back. It pop back as nicely, but it did. It all it all came out. I mean, there's a couple right here, but I think we just yeah, just do this. See, just give them a little snap and they unravel. Come on, one's being a little stubborn up there, but anyhow, that's what it looks like. Oh, I think it's cute. Very simple, and again, these darn blue bands, um, I'm going to have to play around. It's really hard because, you know, as you all know, I have my fingertip problems, but I know if I dug out a, to a toothpick, that would help. Anyhow, here you have little, not little, Lil Stitch, Lil Stitch. And you can just play around, all those little slip knots are even, and there you go. Thank you so much for watching my tutorial and feel free to like this design if you like it and be sure to subscribe if you want to Deb's thing if you want to see more my um, tutorials and of course you can check me out on Instagram at Deb's thing and um, if you post any renditions make sure it's hashtag Lil I L I L 
stitches bracelet. You'll have to leave out the apostrophe because that'll ruin the, um, the hashtag. Looks like I made a goof right here. Oops. We won't photograph that part of it <laughs> when I post it. All right. Thank you so much for watching. Good night.